Think about the requirements. To use Hyper-V, your computer must meet these requirements. Windows 8 or later. Windows Server 2008 or 2012. 64-bit processor. Minimum memory of 4 GB. Note, Hyper-V is enabled in Windows 8, 10, and 11 by default as an optional feature except in home editions. Keep in mind that you cannot use Hyper-V in Windows Mobile or Windows Mobile Enterprise. Take hardware compatibility into account. Step 1. Go to Search Bar, type CMD, and select Command Prompt. Next, type System Info. Hit Enter and check out Hyper-V requirements. Step 2. Determine whether each of the entries in the requirement section has Yes. If you notice No, proceed to apply changes to turn No into Yes. Enable virtualization technology in BIOS. Step 1. Shut down your computer. After the device shuts down completely, turn it on again. As it's turning on, press the F12 key to open BIOS. The key might change depending on the motherboard manufacturer. Other possibilities include F1, F2, F4, F11, or Dell. You can Google it to determine the right key to open BIOS according to your motherboard manufacturer. Step 2. Once you access the BIOS, navigate to the CPU configuration section. This section can also be Processor, Chipset, or Northbridge. You can find this section under the Advanced or Advanced Mode menu. After you get to the CPU configuration section, Find the virtualization option, then enable that virtualization option. Depending on your computer, this option can have Hyper-V, AMD-V, VYX, Vanderpool, Intel Virtualization Technology, or SVM. Step 3. Once you enable the virtualization option, save and reboot the computer. Enable Hyper-V. Step 1. Open File Explorer and go to a folder. Right-click on a blank space anywhere in that folder. Select New. After that, click Text Document. Open the file in Notepad, then copy the following text and paste it into it. Step 2. Select File. You can find it on the Notepad menu on the top of the window. Then select Save As. Once the Save As window comes up, rename the file to Hyper-V Bat, then click Save. Step 3. Double-click Hyper-V Bat. That should run the file and install all Hyper-V features. After it's done, restart your PC. After restarting Windows, go to the Start menu bar and search for Turn Windows Features On or Off. Find Hyper-V, Window Hypervisor Platform, and Virtual Machine Platform in the window. Check the checkboxes before these files and click OK. After that, restart your PC. Disable Hyper-V. This method applies if you already have another virtualization software on your PC. Disable Hyper-V through the control panel. Step 1. Open control panel, choose Programs and Features, and select Turn Windows Features On or Off.
Step 2. Expand Hyper-V, expand Hyper-V platform, and uncheck the checkbox near Hyper-V hypervisor. Disable Hyper-V through PowerShell. Step 1. Open a PowerShell window. Step 2. Run the following command. Disable Windows optional feature online. Feature name Microsoft Hyper-V Hypervisor.